It's a new day and it's also a new month. We thank God for keeping our lives. You are welcome back to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much. The returning subscribers and the new people on this channel. I want to appreciate you very, very much. The number of subscribers as we speak right now, there are over 200. I am happy. I say thank you. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so much. By popular demand, during the last um, video that I did, that is, what Nigeria can learn from Kenya, and what Nigerians can learn from Kenyans, okay? People chatted me in the comment section. They said, oh, they would also like to know what Kenyans can learn from Nigeria. And I promised them that I was going to do a video in that regard, in that line. And here we are today, the first day in the month of August. So I want us to sit and, you know, make ourselves comfortable as I will be dishing out the various things that Kenyans can also learn from Nigerians. Now, this particular video is for everybody in Africa, not only Kenyans. There is no doubt. I am, I am not saying because I am a Nigerian, I shouldn't say the truth. There are things that we need to learn about Nigerians, okay? The news of Nigeria is flying all over the place. But I want you to know that Nigerians are good people. Nigerians are well-cultured Africans. There are seven things I want Kenyans to learn from Nigeria. And I also want other people in Africa to learn this from Nigerians. And I know the daring nature of Nigerians. Daring nature. Bold. Nigerians are bold. Nigerians can dare anything. They are ready to take the risk. This is a good behavior which people, Kenyans, Africans at large, can emulate. This is a good one. When you are a daring person, there is nothing that will be difficult for you. No matter how big or gigantic the mountain is, you will be able to suppress it. You'll be able to bring it down, bring it low. Nigerians have that daring spirit. That is where you see Nigerians all over the world. There is nothing that is too big for Nigerians not to crush. That is a good spirit. And I think Kenyans can emulate that. Number two is what I call excessive love or drive for knowledge. Love for knowledge. Nigerians have this. People always say, oh, Nigerians are smart. Excuse me. You can't be smart if you are not knowledgeable. Whatever you venture into, if you are so good in it, you want to be the best in it, then people will say you are smart. That is what Nigerians do. Nigerians, they have this hunger, this thirst for knowledge. They want to know. That's why Nigerians are doing well in IT. They're doing well in medicine. Just name it. Something happened recently this year, I think, in Canada. A university produced nine best students. Guess what? All the nine students are Nigerians. That is Nigeria. Nigerians have thirst, hunger, drive for knowledge. I believe this is what all of us need to emulate. Number three, that is what I call resilient spirit. Or, in a funny way, I can say hot blood. Nigeria has blood that is hot. Now, what do I mean? I say it is a resilient spirit. Nigerians don't give up easily. A friend of mine, a Kenyan, was telling me, he said, you guys, you... Um, you don't, you don't give up on things. I think that was not the way uh, he actually put it. That whatever you want to do, you make sure you get it done. I said, that is resilient spirit. That's the hotness in our blood. Our blood is hot. The reason is that we want to achieve. We don't give up. When Nigeria gets into 
uh, a certain business. If the business is not doing fine, a Nigerian will never back out. It will continue to push or she will continue to push until he or she makes success out of that business. This is good. It is worthy to emulate. Everybody can do this. Whether you are a Nigerian, whether you are a Kenyan, an African or non-African, we should all have this resilient spirit. It will take us far in life. For Nigerians are big dreamers. What do you think will make a man to leave Onicha? Onicha is a very big place in the eastern part of Nigeria. What will make a man to leave Onicha and go to China? That's the dream. He has something in his mind. He might not be able to share it with anyone, but that thing lives in him. And he wants to succeed. The same thing will make a man from Abel Okuta in the western part of Nigeria to go to Canada. And before you know it, within five, six, ten years, he's a big person. Even some of them are contesting in elections in some of these countries, in America, in the um, in, in UK. So Nigerians are big dreamers. I think it is also a good point for Kenyans to emulate. Let's put some vibes. Let's enlighten the course of our dreams. We shouldn't dream, uh, you know, a little. We should have big dreams. Number five, taking Africa to the world map in music, in sports, religion, even movies. Uh, let me even start from the movies. I think uh, in the movies industry all over the world, after Hollywood, which is an uh, American movie industry, I think the next is uh, Nollywood. So Nollywood is not doing badly, even though they still need to improve. You understand? So they are doing fine. In education, I think I've mentioned something like that earlier. Nigerians are taking the world, you know, taking Africa to the world map in education, in music. Our musicians, our mu musicians, they are doing fine. They are not doing badly. And, you know, even as a Nigeria, I used to look, I'm not a music person per se, but, you know, when I look at what these young musicians are doing, the Davido, uh, Whiskey, Bonner Boy, uh, see me and the rest of them. If I see what they are doing, in fact, I always appreciate them. And I know, yes, these guys have really, have really, really improved over the years. Over the years. So uh, I believe Kenyans can take the music industry to, to the next level. Let it go global, just like the way Nigerian music you know, is going global. Look at sports. Something happened, I think, was it last week or last two weeks? When this uh, Nigerian lady, uh, Toby Amosha, won, uh, is it gold? Or oh, came first, he broke her own record by herself, world record. In number six, Nigerians are world indicators. What do I mean by that? Nigerians can show you where the money is. They can show you where the wealth is. All you need to do is to watch what Nigerians are doing. Maybe you are called to the music industry. Choose somebody, you know, maybe a musician that you may likely choose as your uh, role model and watch the person closely. There's money in it. Look at the businesses Nigeria, Nigerians are, you know, getting into. You can study. There is something in it. If there is nothing in it, Nigerians will not venture into it. So they have wealth, wealth indicators. They look at what is happening. They look at the trend of things and Nigerians will go into it. I think this is something good that we should all emulate. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please subscribe. And those of you 
that are subscribed, please like our video. So subscribe and like our videos. Okay. The seventh one is that Nigerians make things happen. That's the seventh one to round it up for today. Nigerians make things happen. What do I mean by this? Let me give, maybe you are a CEO of a company or you, you, you are running a company. If the company is not doing fine, I want to give you a secret. Inject one or two Nigerians into that business. I tell you, something will begin to happen positively in that business. So, these are the few things I can, you know, lay my hands on to talk about Nigeria, Nigerians. Okay? The bad things, the bad vibes from Nigerians should not be emulated. Please, it shouldn't be emulated. The positive ones, which I've already highlighted and explained in my own little way, those are the ones I want us to emulate. So thank you till I come your way again. I remain sincerely yours, your me, Adu. Thank you and stay blessed.